Good morning, Tri-States. It's time now for Red Holland with fishing news and other interesting features. Well, good morning, everyone. If you haven't noticed, I'm not Red Holland, although it has been said that we favor sometimes, but I'm Tom Neville. Red Holland has Huey, are you? <laughs> uh, uh, Red Holland has the day off. He'll be back tomorrow. This is Good Morning Tri-States on Wednesday, and it is the uh, 25th day of October. And first of all, let's check in with our weather forecast before we do anything else. Looks like another nice day ahead for today. Sunny skies for the most part are expected and we should see, uh, well, highs in the upper 70s. Here's a look at our national satellite, uh, satellite picture and you'll notice that most of the east coast and the nation's midsection is under, uh, uh, well, some pretty nice weather. Not much uh, precipitation anywhere in uh, two-thirds of the nation. But as we get out to the west coast, we'll see quite a bit of activity stretching from uh, northern California up into uh, western Montana. They're getting quite a bit of uh, precipitation out of that. Most of that is in the form of rain, but some of it is in the form of snow. Locally tonight, we can look for uh, a few clouds to roll into the forecast. Lows tonight between 50 and 55, a little bit warmer than what we've been having uh, over the past week or so. And on Thursday, we'll see morning clouds. Uh, those should burn off by the afternoon, and we're looking for another pretty nice day outside on Thursday. Highs tomorrow in the upper 70s. Um, we'll also take a look at our uh, current service map. We'll show you how those frontal systems are falling out this morning across the nation. If we can get that up, we'll show it to you, and we'll show you how the frontal systems are uh, taking into effect. We've got high pressure dominating the eastern third of the U.S., and it has been for the past few days. It is expected to remain over North Alabama. Uh, and just keep pretty nice weather uh, for the next uh, few days. Mild temperatures here in the uh, southeast. That low pressure system associated with that cold front tracking through the northwest is what's causing most of that rain. That should begin sliding up to the north and uh, northeast over the next 24 hours, bringing a lot of that to the uh, upper tier of states, a lot of that moisture and uh, cooler temperatures. But it's high pressure along most of the east coast, and that is uh, really what's behind the nice weather we've been having. Let's take a look at our uh, Gulf Coast forecast. For those of you that might be going out in the bay over the next uh, day or so, we'll tell you what's going on down there. From Apalachicola to Gulfport, uh, east to northeast winds 10 to 15 miles, uh, 10 to 15 knots, excuse me, seas 2 to 3 feet, a light chop in protected waters tonight and Thursday, east northeast winds 10 to 15 knots, seas again 2 to 3 feet. And again, a light chop in protected waters outlook for Thursday night and Friday, little change in that. Here's our latest, uh, our, our current radar picture. We're picking up a little bit of a, what well, looks like possibly early morning fog. We're not getting any rain reported this morning, but we're getting a, uh, something showing up on radar in the Panhandle and also up in Barber County. Uh, we don't believe that's rain. Again, that's probably just uh, uh, maybe some early morning fog and possibly some temperature inversion. 54 degrees outside in the Tri-States right now. It's 533. And when we come back in just a moment, we'll be talking with Mike Cody. Mike is the president of the local chapter of Ducks Unlimited, and uh, I've lost my notes, but yesterday Mike and I were talking, and he says, uh, I believe the figure he quoted me was 1,200 acres of wetlands disappears from the United States each day. When I say disappear, uh, uh, either through subdivisions going in, they're draining off these marshes and lakes, and uh, whether it's to put a, a parking lot or a shopping mall or a subdivision in, at any rate, it's uh, causing some negative effects on uh, some of our wildlife, ducks in particular. And uh, Mike Cody has some information about how you can get involved if you like to, and an upcoming event. And we'll be back with that interview in just a moment. Stay with us. Massive Ferguson today and Massive Ferguson all the way. Mr. Farmer, you made a real tractor dealer out of a little country boy, and he has never forgotten it. He'll shake your hand and smile and tell you, appreciate your business, where you can find what you want at a price you can afford to pay. They got the reputation at JD's of being the friendliest farm machinery dealer in the whole USA because their customers are the friendliest in the USA. And that's the reason JD says if you don't trade with us, it'll cost us both money. 
Okay, we're back and joining us this morning on Good Morning Tri-States is Mike Cody. Uh, Mike's the president of the Dothan chapter of Ducks Unlimited. Mike, thanks for taking some time out and visiting with us. If you would tell us, first of all, what Ducks Unlimited is all about. What's the organization, uh, uh, some main goals? Uh, Tom, first of all, I'd really, uh, I really appreciate you having us on uh, this morning. Uh, we are a, a national organization. Our particular uh, Dothan chapter is one of about uh, uh, 500, uh, 3,800 uh, clubs nationwide. The primary purpose behind uh, Ducks Unlimited is uh, preservation of wetland habitat. And uh, usually when you say something, uh, we use the abbreviation DU, opposed mm -hmm. to Ducks Unlimited half the time, and they'll, you get a blank stare usually that comes back to you. I guess the, the biggest misconception about Ducks Unlimited, we are not a hunting club. It's uh, a conservation mm -hmm. uh, club, and uh, it was started in 1937 in order to uh, raise money, to start units to raise money to help in the um, preservation of wetlands because after World War II or World War I, when uh, there was a lot of expansion to the west, a lot of the water supplies were used up, a lot of fields were cultivated, and therefore the, the, the lakes and ponds were dried up. and of course, the drought of 1930 had a big impact on ducks. Uh, I'm kind of shooting from one side to the other, but to give you an overview of, of Ducks Unlimited and, and why we do what we do, 70% uh, of, the, of the duck population is hatched in Canada. So in, in 1937, when, when the club or the organization was formed, all the monies went to Canada uh, because of the large hatching uh, that went on there that then fly into the three flyways into the United States. So, and a duck goes back to the same pond uh, that it was hatched in. So, if it goes back to that pond uh, the next year on its return back from Mexico or Texas, uh, it may fly into a parking lot. Uh, it, it gets disoriented. So, through those efforts, uh, DU, I guess, since 1937 has raised over $400 million. So really the money that the organization raises goes into buying, actually purchasing the wetlands if they can, and uh, again, if a duck has uh, made a home somewhere, that wetland will continue to be in existence. Basically, and uh, what Ducks Unlimited do, does is they will lease the property. I guess right under lease at this point is 3.7 million acres uh, are being leased by Ducks Unlimited, which is part of the membership mm -hmm. fees that go to help pay that and that in, is increasing and of course they maintain it and uh, keep it up for that purpose and of course through preserving a uh, uh, a lake or a, a marsh or whatever the case may be of course there are a lot of other wildlife that are uh, benefited from that uh, from fish to, to deer to uh, water supplies to uh, industries uh, keeping a water table correct mm -hmm. in municipalities so it's a, it's a big organization. Now, the, uh, the Dothan chapter has a, an upcoming fundraiser in November. If you would tell us about that, how it's uh, set up and what it's all about and who can get involved. Can anybody uh, come out of the auction? I've had uh, quite a few telephone calls. As a matter of fact, I just mailed out uh, this particular ticket, which gives all the information uh, of the banquet. It's on November the 9th at the Ramada End, at, and it begins at 615. Uh, membership is $45. Uh, Twenty dollars of that goes to uh, Ducks Unlimited. Right. Uh, that's for the magazine, and uh, which you receive a, a magazine like this uh, uh, six a year. Uh, so bi monthly, every other month. Plus that membership. Mm -hmm. So that twenty dollars uh, goes straight to mm -hmm. Ducks Unlimited. The other helps us cover some of the costs that we're involved in. Yeah, the local in. level, okay. It's a sit-down dinner, uh, uh, beverages, a uh, good time for all. Our particular uh, banquet are men only. That is not true of all, all Ducks Unlimited mm -hmm. banquets, but uh, we do not have uh, a, a mixed uh, man and wife uh, group there. It's strictly men. We have a 200 membership in Dothan or this surrounding area in the Wiregrass. Uh, in fact, this ticket was mailed out to all 200 uh, members. Uh, from there, I've put up posters in different locations and, and of course, doing shows like this and uh, articles in the paper and what have you to get people interested. Anyone can join Ducks Unlimited. Uh, if you can't make the banquet, uh, 
you can just send in twenty dollars made out to Ducks Unlimited as a contribution. As, as a and you become a member, you get the magazine and the membership, and those monies go into uh, a conservation effort. Okay, uh, Mike, let me take a break real quick, and sure. we'll be back in just a moment, and we're going to talk about what the auction's all about, what you can find there. So you stay with us. Knowles Peanut Farm. Plowing up them runner peanuts. Getting ready, I'm talking to be boiled up. Loading them on the trailer. Folks, a lot of this is done by hand. Mmm, Knowles Peanut Farm. There's Mr. Knowles talking to Mark White of Early Ag Service. He's spraying them peanuts up there. Getting them ready for the market. Getting them ready to boil. They hand pick them off. Right up there on 134, just east of Headland, Alabama, right off of 431. They also got them at Sam's Guff, 231 South and the Circle in Dothan. It's Knowles Peanut Farm. We're back, and this morning we're talking with Mike Cody from the Ducks Unlimited, uh, the local chapter here in Dothan. And Mike, we were just talking about the upcoming auction again. That is November the 9th. Right. On a Saturday here in Dothan at the Ramada Inn? No, that's a Thursday uh, oh, it's night. Oh, Thursday, right. excuse me. November 9th is mm -hmm. on Thursday. It begins at 6.15. Okay. And that's here in Dothan. So if you want to get tickets, they're still available. And tell us what, what type of things will be at the auction. What can we expect to see? We've got, uh, for I brought a few things with me, uh, Tom. We have decoys that are, uh, these are Tom Tabor's, uh, which he's a well-known mm -hmm. uh, decoy uh, manufacturer. We'll have several of these of different qualities and that are auctioned. And, of course, all this is an auction. Highest bidder mm -hmm. uh, gets it, and then, of course, the proceeds go to uh, Ducks Unlimited. I think a lot of people, when you think of Ducks Unlimited, are familiar with the stamps that the organization That's right. gets involved with. That's right. You, uh, by law, you're required if you, uh, again, again, probably 70% of the members of our particular uh, Dothan chapter are not duck hunters. Uh, they're doing this strictly as a uh, conservation effort or they just enjoy the fun that we have there. But these are the type prints that we have. Uh, this particular one has stamps that go along with it which are numbered and uh, these are signed and numbered prints mm -hmm. and the majority of them are already framed. They, they're ready to go right on the wall. Uh, but we've talked about the national perspective, what's going on with trying to preserve the wetlands and such. How, what kind of role does the, the local chapter and the state chapters play in Alabama? What actually happens here in our state? Our, our, we've started a program. Uh, a lot of people ask that question. What uh, has it done for the state of Alabama? We began a program three years ago in the Mobile Delta. The, the end result of that, which would be a, over a three-year period, will be an expenditure of about 1.7 million dollars that DU National will have spent down there preserving a thousand acres plus in the Mobile Delta. At that time, once it's all established and, and set, they're going to deed that over to the uh, state of Alabama uh, to only be used for that purpose from then on. So that's not Dothan, uh, it's not Eufaula, it cannot be a federally uh, sponsored program. Uh, it has to be something other mm -hmm. than that. So Mobile is, is close. We're starting on Huntsville next. Right. Great. Okay. Uh, you got something? Yeah, I've got show. one other one. Uh, <clears throat> this one has not been framed yet, but the, the, that was a smaller print. We do have larger ones, and uh, again, it's primarily uh, photographs and uh, now not all these prints have been made in the stamps, or is that the general rule? Most right. Yeah, none of them, other than your state and federal stamp, mm -hmm. have stamps. Uh, this is a state, uh, the first one I showed was, was the state print, and uh, we have a federal print. But I think, of, as of right now, I think there are only 40 states that have state duck stamps. Uh, you must, if you're going to hunt ducks, period, you have to buy a federal duck stamp. Mm -hmm. And then if that particular state requires, requires it, you a need both of them. And there are only 40 now. So Out of the 50, but okay. But it's, it's a fun razor also. Okay, so again, it's November the 9th, Thursday night, and it's open to the general public. You can get tickets, and who should they call for tickets? If you would, uh, you could call myself, Mike Cody, at 793-2292, or Terry Harris uh, at AmSouth Bank, and that number is 793 3,000. Okay, we'll get those numbers up on the screen we'll for you. We'll get a ticket to you. All right, thanks. Mike, appreciate you visiting with Thank us today, you, and best of luck with the auction. And uh, again, that's Mike Cody with Ducks Unlimited, and we'll be back in just a moment with more. Dothan Marine is your authorized Mariner Outboard dealer, and they want to make the entire family happy with a trip to the river. 
Come on, why not enjoy a day of fishing and relaxation on this sleek Bass Tracker boat powered by Mariner Ralph Ford? Or just relax and have fun floating down the river on this beautiful Procraft pontoon boat? Let Dothan Marine and Mariner Ralph Ford become your key for excitement. Dothan Marine, your authorized Mariner dealer, located on Ross Clark Circle in Dothan. One stop gets it all at the Country Mart, up Highway 77 from Panama City. All you folks going hunting early in the morning, stop in, have breakfast with them. Mmm, they fix it just right. All you folks that live in the area, it's hog feed, chicken feed, horse feed, they got it. All you folks that's driving these big diesel trucks, you're already buying your diesel here anyway. Get your oil, and don't forget them ball and filters. One stop gets it all at the Country Mart. Come see us. All right, we're back. Thanks to Mike Cody for being our special guest. He had to come in uh, yesterday to tape that. Uh, Mike said he was um, going out of town or something today. At any rate, I think it's just because he didn't want to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning. But we do appreciate him visiting with us uh, about Ducks Unlimited. If you have some more questions about that, feel free to call Mike or, uh, or you can call me at the station and I'll give you those numbers again. I uh, just had a phone call from Webb, a, a lady, a regular viewer of Reds, wants some turkey eggs or some turkeys. And if you have some and would like to uh, make some sort of deal with her, you can call her at 794 Four five one zero. That number is seven nine four four five one zero. And if you have anything you want to pass on to our viewers, feel free to call us. And our number here at the station is seven nine two three one nine five. We'll be taking phone calls for the next ten or fifteen minutes or so. Uh, another announcement coming up uh, tomorrow night in Ponce de Leon, Florida. Um, they're going to have a TSU, the Troy State University football team, team will have a inter squad scrimmage. And that's uh, going to be tomorrow evening at 7 o'clock. But before that starts, from 4.30 in the afternoon until 7 at night, they're going to be holding a fish fry. And the fish fry is $3 a plate. Again, this is at Ponce de Leon. From 4.30 to 7 tomorrow evening, a uh, fish fry for $3 a plate. The TSU scrimmage game will start at 7 o'clock. And the game is free to the public, and you don't have to uh, buy the fish to go to the game. But if you want to stop by and help support them, they would appreciate it. All that uh, uh, money being raised is going uh, towards the athletic club. Good morning, WTVY. Hello? Hello, good morning. Yes. Too close to the TV or something? Yeah, maybe if you turn the TV down just a little bit, that'll help us. I'm interested in a small engine, uh, Johnson Avenue. Okay. My number is 792-5678. All right. And uh, if you can one, we get rid of one, uh, I'd appreciate it if they would call me. Okay. All right. Thanks Thank for you. calling in. Yes, sir. That's a small Avenue engine the gentleman's interested in. His number again is 792-5678. Good morning, WTBY. Now, this one we're not connecting right with. Let's see. Virgil, I may need some technical assistance on this. We'll have to <laughs> Huey loves this. I just can't ever get Red's phone figured out. It's different than what we use. All right. Well, now my caller's gone. We'll go back to the phones in just a minute. Let's, <laughs> Let's take a break, and when we come back, we'll try to have our phones figured out, and if you'd like to call in something, feel free to call us, 792-3195. It's early, isn't it? We'll be right back. The Golden Lariat Western Shops, 8th Annual Western Day, featuring Stella Pardon, Jeff and Sherry Easter, Oh Red Island gonna be there, the Panhandle Cloggers, and much more. Texas-style barbecue dinner, $2, all you can eat, drawing for prizes, big sale in the store, Lee, Levi Wrangler jeans, $16.95, all shirts and blouses off, 50%. Where's that? In Grand Ridge, Florida, at I-10 and Highway 69. Folks, the Carpet Discount Barn, located on East Main Street, Dothan, Alabama. No wider selection of carpet to choose from throughout the tri-state area. They got vinyl and carpet, and they start at $2.95 a yard, none over $10.95 a yard. Free pad now with any plush, Saxon, that's smooth, high-low, that's a sculptured carpet. Right now, there's a big sale going on. Look, we install this carpet and back it up at the carpet barn. So we're going to wait 
Okay, we're back. The gentleman's question was, do you have to already buy your saltwater fishing licenses in Florida? And uh, I was talking with Red yesterday. He said he would have somebody from the Florida Game and Fish Commission up on the program later this week, and they're going to have all the information for you. I don't even want to speculate because they're having some changes in legislation down there. And uh, But Red said he'll try to pass it on to the viewers probably Thursday or Friday, okay? All right, thank you, sir, for calling in. Uh, good morning, WTVY. Uh, yes, sir. I'm calling from Panama City. Yes, ma'am. And uh, if anyone's headed our way from up there on November 18th, uh -huh. Margaret K. Lewis School for Exceptional Students and all are going to have our annual uh, Christmas Bazaar. Okay. That's on November 18th at 1527 Lincoln, Panama City. And they have some fabulous crafts, reasonable prices, and all the uh, all of this benefits uh, the students of this handicap area. Okay, let's say we're coming down Highway 231. Give us directions how to get out to the school. Okay, um, it's easiest just to probably get on uh, 23rd. Okay. So uh, you'll see signs or Highway 98. Okay, and that's November 18th. That's on a Saturday. It's going to be all day. Uh, it's going to be from 10 to 3, and we'll have many raffles, and there's many area merchants that have donated some very wonderful items to for door prizes and many raffles. Okay, great. Listen, thanks for calling that in, and we'll give directions out if anybody missed those. We'll be glad to pass them on to you again, all right? The uh, number that they can call me if they need some direction. Okay, give us that number if you would. 904-769-9199. Uh -huh. Okay. 9199. If you would, repeat the last four digits for me again. 9199. Okay, now we got it. All right, thanks, and have a good day. Bye-bye. All right, good morning, WTVY. <laughs> That's a dial tone. Good morning, WTVY. Uh, I sent a picture to Red Holland. Yes, sir. And and I send it Monday. Uh-huh. Are you going to show him pictures today? Uh, Red didn't leave any pictures with me. I, I imagine he might show them tomorrow or Friday, but he didn't leave anything with me. I, uh, I'm seven years old now, Ronald Davis. Tell him, uh -huh. tell him tomorrow. Okay. To call me. 983. 983-4-9-1-9. 4-9-1-9. Ronald, where are you from? 4-9, I mean. Okay, 4919? Yeah. Okay, and where are you from, Ronald? Headland. Headland, okay. All right, thanks for watching up there in Henry County. I'll pass the message on to Red, and we'll see if we can get your pictures on for you, okay? I, I call a five-pound bass. A five-pound bass? That's great. That's a good job. I don't know if I've caught a five-pound bass recently. All right, Ronald, listen, have a good day, and we appreciate you watching, okay? Bye. All right, bye-bye. Good morning, WTVY. Hello. Hi. I would like to buy, if anybody got in, one gobbler turkey. All right, you're looking to buy one gobbler turkey. Right. Okay. And what's your number, sir? 793. Okay. 0508. 0508. Okay, we had somebody calling in from Webb earlier that wanted some turkeys, and since she's called, we've had somebody call in with some for sale, so maybe she'll hear your number and give you a call, okay? All right, I'm staffed in Webb, too. Okay, all right. Listen, thanks for listening, and we appreciate you calling in. All right, thank you. All right, have a good day. Uh, good morning, WTVY. I need, I need a little information if you could help me. Okay, what can we do for you? Okay, on the credit, they said the limit is 30, right? So repeat that again, sir? On the credit, they said the limit is 30, right? Yeah, that's right. The brim is 50. Can you catch 30 crabs and 50 brims, or do you have to combine them together? I believe you can uh, you check with Red on this to be sure, but I, I believe you can catch 30 and then 50, and it's not a combination on the two because it's... Um, that's two whole different uh, categories. So I believe, if I'm not mistaken, you can separate those, and it's not a, a total of the two. Thank okay, you, sir. Okay, well, yes, sir. All right, we're going to take a break. We'll come back to the phones, and we'll also check in with our tie tables and another quick look at the weather forecast. In just a moment, you stay with us. Uh Folks, do you like that old smokehouse flavor? Well, look at him. Ziggler's has come out with a jumbo frank and it's seasoned to please. Mmm, it's got that smoke flavor to it. They call biggins. When Beth goes out of town and I put on my chef's hat, I get in here and I grill me some of them right on top of the grill. You talking about fine, sometimes I'll split them, put a little bit of cheese in the middle there. 
Mmm. -hmm. Ooh, ooh, I can feel hot. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The eggs. Red, red, coming back. I uh, should be back tomorrow. Okay. Okay, listen, have a good day. Bye. All right, uh, somebody else calling in wanting some turkey eggs. Her number is 792-0934. I guess we should be in the in the uh, turkey egg business. Looks like there's a pretty good demand for that. Uh, Halloween's coming up. Thanksgiving, of course, still a little bit away, but maybe, I don't know, maybe it's just that time of year. Uh, good morning, WTVY. Hello. Okay, we lost that one. All right. Let's do our tide tables real quick. Panama City, it's high tide is 820, low tide 340. Destin, high tide 836, low tide 554 in the evening. And Port St. Joe, a high tide 839 this morning, low tide to be 333 this afternoon. Pool ratings for George, 189.26, Andrews, Woodruff, and Blunstown at 6.52. And now let's check back with the phones and see if we can uh, get back up with the folks. Good morning, WTVY. Dial tone. <laughs> Good morning, WTVY. Oh, this yes, is a lady from Webb that called you by the turkeys? Yeah, right. Did the gentleman you said called and, and said he had something to say, or did he leave a number with you? No, he sure didn't, but he said he'd call you. Okay. Okay, so maybe he'll get back in touch with you. Okay, appreciate it, Tom. Okay, well, yes, ma'am. All right, we'd, I should have took that number. We'll try to get these folks connected because we've got some for sale and uh, some wanting turkey, eggs, and, and small turkeys. Uh, good morning, WTVY. Good morning. I would just like to invite everybody out to a pre-haunted house and carnival down at St. Joseph Baptist Church. Okay, and when's that coming up? That starts tomorrow night up to a Saturday night, and it's from 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock p.m. Okay. That's on Highway 84 east of Ashford. Highway 84 east of Ashford. Okay, all right, listen, thanks for calling in. We appreciate it. Yeah. Have a good day. Uh, good morning, WTBY. Oh, the lady just called you and asked about the guy who wants the turkeys. Yes, ma'am. And I'm with you. Um, no, she's, she's also wanting turkeys, sir. She's, she, she wants eggs or turkeys. Uh, the, the one that called for sale, we hadn't got back with yet. Oh, all right. Thank okay, you. yes, sir. All right. Um, let me see what else we need to do. Coming up this Friday, the National Peanut Festival gets uh, officially kicked off. The fairgrounds uh, will start Friday. Let's uh, touch on some things going on. Six o'clock, the ribbon cutting. Um, well, we're getting some noise on the phones. The ribbon cutting's this Friday at six, and the big uh, National Peanut Festival parade will be Saturday, November the fourth. And also, uh, we've had some calls. Daylight savings time starts this weekend, and we'll get ready to remind you about that Thursday and Friday. That goes into effect, I believe, at two o'clock Sunday morning or late Saturday night. And that's about all the time we have. Let's take one last look at our national satellite picture. All in all, looks pretty nice for the southeast. Clear skies for the most part today and highs in the upper 70s. Tonight, partly cloudy. We'll see lows between 50 and 55. And on Thursday, we'll see some clouds early tomorrow morning. Sunny by tomorrow afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. It looks like another great week. It looks like good weather to get the National Peanut Festival kicked off. Uh, mild temperatures on tap right through the weekend. That's about all the time we have for today. I'm Tom Neville sitting in for Red Holland. Red will be back tomorrow. Uh, thanks for watching today, though, and have a great day. That's it for Good Morning Tri-States. <laughs>
Sanders Chiropractic Clinic of Dothan is offering a free spinal screening examination to determine whether chiropractic treatment will be beneficial to you. This simple, painless exam takes only 10 to 15... Realty Auction in Dothan, 794-3000 or 1-800-443-1141. This is me, Lynn Chrome, before Nutrisystem. And this is me after Nutrisystem. I lost 50 pounds and I feel fantastic. I feel so good and so warm inside when my husband tells me that he's happy and excited that I've lost weight. He tells me 